here we are on the roof of the Dock Holiday, our 44-foot houseboat, and we've got our four 100-watt Go Power uh, solar panels ready to install. We've taped them down temporarily just to make sure our, our spacing is fine. And you can see this configuration is, is actually like this because we can expand on either side of these two, uh, adding two panels on either side, as well as further back here, which you might not be able to see, we can expand this way as well with two more that way to double our solar power on this roof here. Um, we've also made this space in the middle for all of our cables to collect so that we can minimize um, cables, trying to run cables over or, or around different panels. And this way, once we move on to that stage, um, it should be pretty straightforward. So we're going to screw uh, three quarter inch to an inch screws into the six holes on each panel. We're going to put uh, marine caulking on in the pilot hole that we drill, as well as uh, once the screw's in, we're gonna caulk around that screw in the hole as well. So we're gonna get started. Even though GoPower recommends being three feet from the front for wind purposes when you're cruising or sailing or out, out on the, the highway if it's an RV, we don't really move this houseboat around that much and when we do it's not at a very high speed. So we feel pretty comfortable putting it this close. Okay, here we are, we're done, <laughs> sort of. We've got all the um, pilot holes and screws in, six screws per 100 watt panel. After you've drilled your pilot holes, make sure your panels don't move so that obviously your screw is hitting the pilot hole. For now, the solar panels are done. Our solar panels are installed above this roof here on the front of the boat. And then we've run the cables, which we've all connected, along the side here and all the way down along here, about 20 feet, and go into the side here, which on the inside, you'll see the cables come through inside of our refrigerator vent uh, cupboard here. This is our 30 amp solar controller with a USB port here. And you can see our batteries are at 100%, which they've been basically since we installed them because the 400 watt panels are topping them up on an hourly or daily basis at the very least. 